The boneyard is full of dead aircraft, but it shares the airfield with living ones, the A-10 tank busters of the United States Air Force. They've been storing and scrapping planes here since 1946. In those days, it was DC-3s and B-29 bombers. Later, they started scrapping the enormous 10-engine B-36. Aircraft engineers are constantly driving around this five square kilometre airfield. They have their toolboxes and their ladders, and their task is to remove spare parts off an aircraft, which can be used to keep another one in the air. Gil Kent has been an aircraft engineer for 40 years. He was one of the team which pulled the wings off F-111s to keep the Australian aircraft flying. Hey, Bert. Yeah. Here's some uh, openings. The wings on the F-111 swivel backwards, yeah. secured by this wing box bearing. But the aircraft has to be placed on perfectly flat ground to pull the wings from the joint. And in order to pull, that pin, in order to get that to come out, you have to have the wing correctly positioned, okay? The aircraft level, and then you can pull that pin out. Now, if you don't, <laughs> you're not gonna have a very happy day. The AMARC facility saves the US government a lot of money. It's much cheaper to retrieve spare parts from aircraft than to make new ones. In 2007, they reclaimed parts worth 700 million US dollars. There are aircraft out here that we, st we have in here now that are still flying, okay? And if they weren't here, then some of the items that are needed to follow through on a combat mission would not be available. Sure. So these birds aren't really dead. They're alive and kicking and still giving back to. Sure. You know, they're not dead anymore. I mean, it's not a graveyard. It might, you might want to call it that, but it's a place where they still live on, pieces and parts of them do. Hi again, hope you're enjoying this short trailer for Jeff's documentary. If you are enjoying it and you'd like to watch the full movie, jump on over to our streaming platform at www.historicalmachines.tv where you can sign up for a free seven day trial, watch the full movie, and then check out what else we've got in our catalogue as well. Most aircraft are made of course out of aluminium and riveted. This is the only aircraft in the world to have been completely built out of stainless steel and welded. It's called the Bud Conestoga, and it was not, I'm afraid, a success. During World War II, there was a shortage of aluminium, so the Bud Corporation of Pennsylvania hit on the idea of making aircraft out of thin sheets of stainless steel. Bud were the pioneers of the shot welding technique and usually made railroad cars. The plane flew in 1943 and was ordered by the Navy and the Army. In many ways, it was ahead of its time. A tricycle undercarriage, rear loading doors, and an upswept tail. But aluminium became more plentiful and the military got cold feet. Most of the Conestogas were sold off to civilian airlines. This one soldiers on as a pigeon coop. Join us on our full advert free streaming service at historicalmachines.tv, where you'll find lots more great footage just like this, all for less than the cost of a cup of coffee per month.